I always say that. Well, let me give you an easier way to to email community call two 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 at gmail dot com. Listen carefully. Open up the app. Step one. Step two. Go to the bottom right hand corner of any page on the app. Click on the envelope the email button. Step three. Click on your email client. Step four. Hit always. Step five. Type in your email. So the next time you want to email me, listen carefully. This is this is the second phase. There's two phases. Step one, click on the bottom right hand corner email button. Looks like an envelope. Step two, type in your email. Step three, send. See how easy that is? Once you click the always button, no matter what you do, as long as you click that button right there, I'll take you to communitycloud222 at gmail.com and nowhere else. So when you click that button, you click whatever email client that you use and you hit always, which would be Google, Yahoo, AOL, or whatever. Once you click that always button after your e- you click on your email client, it'll always send you straight to that, send you a message deal. So you can send a message straight there. Now, not only can you listen to the show, make all the comments you want with a free Spreaker.com account. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Not only can you connect with your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can listen to the three play buttons. First play button is number one is 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio. Second one is KJIC, I believe it is, from Texas. That's KJIC. And the third one is my former church, Evangel Christian Churches. Where you can listen to their Sunday morning services or Sunday evening services. And eventually my church, Portage Community Chapel, will be on there as well. And you'll be able to play their uh, play button as well. And that's going to be a little bit of a distance from now before that gets onto there because I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. And I'm going to actually add them to Spotify first because they need to get out there. Once I add them to Spotify first, then I can use Spotify for their embed code and put them right into the podcast portal. But if I get their RSS feed, I should be able to generate my own button from whatever website that you want to use and then I can put that in the podcast portal as well because I do got them on a button that I can go right to my I can go right to my my uh, Google my Chrome on my Chromebook and I can I can fashion up in two seconds I can fashion up a button that will play one specific episode of their services or well yeah of their service in the morning or evening one, I can't get them all to play at once. Once I figure out what their specific RSS feed or user admin is, then I should be able to put them into there with uh, creating a button for that. So that way, whenever they do something, it will automatically physically update themselves. I do not think Evangel has updated their uh, services on the the podcast just yet. I need to contact... Ah, uh, Pastor, I think his name is Dwight or something. The the original worship leader at Evangel Christian, the new worship leader at Evangel Christian Churches. I have to contact him through like Facebook or something. Or however I can get a hold of him in any way and to see what's going on and see if uh, whoever updates has been updating their their podcasting stuff because that's what my listeners like. My listeners love that the app is uh, is there with them on there. And who knows, I might end up having him on the actual show and we can talk about worship and what it means to worship God. I would love to do that with Dr. Tom. Dr. Tom would be a blessing, would be a sheer blessing to be on, his, be on my program and me on to his. It would be a sure blessing to have Dr. Tom here and give a little bit about his testimony, where he came from with God, and what God brought him through, and a little bit about worship as well. And Dr. Tom used to always say, don't sit on your gift and let it stink. So, and that's, uh, that's, that's towards not just everyone else, but me as well. Don't just sit on my gift and let it stink. Because I got a gift of podcasting. I've been doing this for five straight years, and with me being overnights now, it's just I just don't feel like doing it because I'm getting tired. 
It takes a toll to work overnights and sleep during the day. I get no time to enjoy the sun. The birds come out and they chirp and tweet, tweet, tweet. And I'm over there going to bed. The sun goes down and the sun stops shining. And guess what I'm doing? I'm waking up. So, with that being said, it's harder for me. And I'm waking up, like I said, I'm <laughs> My mouse is dying for some strange reason. And I got a new battery in here, but it's dying. So let's see if that makes a difference. I think it did. I think it's staying turned on. So, with that being said, I wake up, the sun goes down. The sun comes out, the birds chirp, and the birds chirp. I wake up. I mean, I go to bed. But then when the birds go to sleep and they go to hibernate for the night, I wake up. So, it's just funny the way it works out. And so with that being said, my mouse is not connecting for for nothing today. So with that being said, there we go. So with that being said, it's harder for me to be able to do things because it's just, it's harder for me to do things because I work the overnight shifts. So with that being said, let me change the battery in this thing because my, uh, yeah, my battery is acting funky and it's dying already. So let me change the battery while I talk. But it's harder for me to do things like that because I'm sleeping during the day and normally during the day is when, is when I do my usuals. During the days when everyone does things. During the nights when everyone sleeps. Well, during the night is when I do things. And during the days when I sleep. And it's not helping because. Then I can't keep in contact with my listeners and you guys. Because. Something else is going on in the evening. And you guys will be sleeping during the evening. So it's a lot harder. For. uh, For me to be able to do this stuff. So. Let's just say this way that I'm going to start doing some stuff that's going to allow me to encourage you through the app even more this week during the night. So that way, even though I might be sleeping during the day, you can still be able to be encouraged by me. And there's a lot of stuff coming out with that as well. So with that being said, look forward to that. And of course, not only can you listen to the three play buttons. Not only can you listen to the show, not only can you make free, uh, comments with a free Spreaker.com account, that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com, and not only can you connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email, but you know what else you can do? You can you can make a Google search result. If you have any questions about something on the show that I can't answer at that moment because I'm not free, or whatever the case may be that you need more information either about a topic about a person from the Bible, like say you want more information about Lazarus and what happened to him, things like that, or just in general if you want a a generalized idea of Lazarus and who he is and things like that, then you can, you know, type in more about Lazarus and then Lazarus. And then when you look it up, what will happen is you will be prompted to a Google search result in the app. And then when you're when you're prompted in the app with a Google search result, you're still looking you're still listening, I should say, to the app or to the to the message going on to the praise and worship or to whatever you're doing, whether it's a play button, you're still listening to it. But you're also getting search results pulled into the app as well. So that way, so that way, you can still listen to what you're listening to, but you can still get more information about the topic that you have as well. So with that being said, you can listen to the show, you can do all the stuff that you want to do, but you can also make a search result if you have any more questions about a topic that we discuss on the show. 
So with that being said, you can make a Google search result and you'll be able to search Google for any information that you need for the topic that we are on. That's just in case I'm not there to be able to uh, actually uh, comment or, you know, if I'm in the middle of reading a scripture, you can just look up something yourself. And that way, if I can't, either I'm not there or I can't, or you're listening to non-live or I just can't at the moment, then you got the Google search bar at the bottom of the play buttons. Go to the play buttons, head to the bottom of the play buttons and just click on Google search and you'll be able to do a Google search from there and look up any information you want to. And believe me, I tested it. I put in safe search filters so that way you can't, so that way anybody who decides to download the app can't say, ooh, there's a there's Google search on there and my wife or my my spouse or my girlfriend or my boyfriend or whoever it is may not know this. And I can look up things. No, I've searched things and topics of that nature to make sure that it does work. You have to. You can't just download something, put it on there and then expect it to work even though you never test it. How do you know that that fluke by accident may, not, may do something and you, it forever may not work right? Because then I'd had to contact Google and fix it. But thank God it does not. So I had to look up some topics I did not want to look up. But I did it for you guys so that you guys can have a wholesome, clean app that is Christian oriented and not some uh, God forsaken sinful app. I, I created the app so you guys can listen to the show and stuff. Not so people can, you know dishonor God with it. It's not my intention. And there are ads on the app because it's free for right now. Until I start getting money from Twitch. My Twitch streams or pod or the oh also or the swag attire store. Yes, TGIF has a store. I don't mention it as much as I should, but TGIF, thank God it's forever. Jesus does most definitely come first. Has a store now. So we've been having a store for almost a year now. So you can download all of your swag attire merch, shirts, t-shirts, mugs, and all that stuff right straight from the store. So when I start <clears throat> getting my um, my Twitch started, I'll be putting my merch store link right there. It'll say merch right on there. Or it might say, you know, store. And you can click on that. You can go into the, the merch store. You can purchase all your Christian merch. And you can, it's great stuff. I've created some great merch. There's a, a couple examples. Like uh, one of my favorite examples is it says fed up. Okay, first off. And it looks just like you would think it is. It looks just like the FedEx logo. Except for instead of saying FedEx, it says fed up. And at the bottom it says, let Jesus take over. And then next to it, after the P's, the, the, the bottom of the P comes around, it says he cares. And it says First Peter at the bottom. It says First Peter 5, 7, I think it is. Because <clears throat> it says, I think it says, let me look this up. I think it's First Peter 5, 7. And I'll read that to you real quick. Are here live on the show. Yep, not five ten. Five seven. Cast your anxieties on him because he cares for you. And so I like that because it says it says give up, let Jesus take over, for he cares. Or he cares, it says. So it says fed up at the top. Same colors as FedEx. It says fed up. The bottom says let Jesus take over. Then after the P comes down, it says he cares. And then at the bottom says First Peter 5.7. It says cast your anxieties onto him for he cares. So I like that. And then another crude, another good example would be my, uh, I got picture of, I got two, I got like three pictures on here. The first picture, main picture is actually looks like it looks like a cell phone at the top. It's got your your answer and your hang up button. And it's got your messenger, your message like your text, 
where it says message. Now the other side has your alarm clock. And then 